Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 3 with a challenge. We are going to be playing some car curling. Now, some of you may remember it was an awful long time ago. We played this on Forza 4. We were using the back straight at Seabrig and messing around with reduced grip and so on settings. It was a lot of fun. We did actually try reworking this on Forza 6 quite some time ago. Never quite got it, almost got it working, but never quite to a state that I was satisfied with. However, with the Blizzard Mountain, we've got a nice frozen lake to play around with. Don't really need to mess about with reduced grip because our sort of stone cars if you like these little uh, abarths haven't got snow tires there's very little grip on the ice their target is down here in between these ramps we've got a bmw isetta that we've got to try and get our cars as close to as possible we are losing the light but well it's not gonna matter too much because everything's gonna be well the headlights are gonna be lit up so we can see roughly where we are aiming for we'll make it a little bit more challenging for long distance spotting but uh Never mind. We gotta go. We gotta go for it. Hopefully, things will uh, will all work out. Now, for us in the push cars, we have got the glitch Nissan Titans, the eight-ton Titans, which will have the force uh, required to push these abarts up to hopefully a decent speed. Now, Horizon 3 is not good for pushing vehicles. The physics engine glitches out massively because it just doesn't allow them to pick up speed as you would expect. So for it to work, we're having to get to this point before we release the car. When we hit that snow patch, we go on the brakes and the Abarth is free to use his brakes and his steering to get as close as possible to the target vehicle. In this case, oh, it was a little bit of a nudge forward. He did still have the momentum to uh, get him into position. So, a fairly solid, fairly solid opening start. I thought he might have used up too much of his momentum and kind of just shunted it forwards. But, uh, yeah, a fairly a fairly solid start. Yeah, it's not quite exactly like actual curling because we do have uh, brakes and so on on the car. Uh, whereas the pink vehicle... Oh, he's missed it! He's missed it completely! Oh, dear, he tried... I think he was trying to go from the side. He just skidded straight through and that's not a good start for pink team. That is not a good start for pink team at all. <laughs> um, now, what do we want orange to do? I mean, honestly, our best bet is if our next orange car can uh, sort of slow it down and pull in behind the uh, pull in behind the Assetta, we are in a very, very strong position because pink would have to do some real work to get the Assetta out. The reason why, uh, incidentally, we uh, are releasing the cars so late is because of the distances that we have going on and the time it takes to get the cars up to speed. If we do it uh, different, we did try at different distances before. If we do it at different distances, the cars don't have enough speed to really punch anything clear. So here it gives us options, basically. It gives us options, gives us potential for uh, various tactics. So, you know, he can go for a punch the car clear or he can go on the brakes nice and early, try and slow himself down. He's gone a little bit too far. Oh, he's a little bit far. He's a little bit far. However, still not it's not in terrible not in terrible position, not in terrible shape, because they do down try and, you know, pump the pump the target clear, which is what I would want to be doing, is if I was pink team, I want to get that target as far away now as possible. We've got you know, if they go from the sides, they can't go from the right hand side, left hand side as you're looking at it now, because they'll just punt it straight into our orange car and we can box them in. They'll have to go to the left and try and push it the other way, but we've still got a car there that's gonna be quite close. I mean they could try and punt it all the way to their pink car over there. I mean that'd be a long shot, but uh, they could do it. I'm gonna get myself out of the way just to make sure that I don't interfere with the uh, shot. They're gonna go straight into the back. Not a clever tactic. Not a, not a particularly clever tactic there at all. Because um, we've now got two cars closer than both of their two cars. And we can just swarm around the Assetta and we can box it out. I think. I say that and all it takes is one missed shot from us. Like Literally all this takes is one cock up from our team. And we can easily throw this one away. Ah. <sighs> The kind of the, the worst part of this, in some ways, is because of the way I'm recording this live means that uh, I can't give directions to my team. It is up to the drivers. It is up to the drivers of the cars to uh, make these decisions. I'm just hoping they make the decisions that uh, that I want to. Uh, I know where I know where I want the cars to go. Doesn't mean they're necessarily going to uh, go. But yeah, um, fingers crossed that uh, this will uh, this will all work out. We've got, I don't actually need that much speed. We can release him because we're not trying to punt it clear. We're just trying to get him to ease in, ease in, brakes. I think you're going to go too fast there, mate. Oh, it's overshot. He has overshot by a fair margin. 
a kind of very similar thing to what the pink... It, it's e really easy to do. I like the idea. The idea was good. I know what he wanted to do. He wanted to kind of bring it back in tight around the... Uh, kind of around the top of the cars to box it all in. It was just a bit too much speed on the way in. Now, the good news for me and the good news for Orange Team is... I think pink don't have a lot of options. They plow into the side from the other direction. They go. They can wedge it in, but they're just going to... They're just going to go straight into the back again, aren't they? Ooh! Well played. Very well played. I wouldn't, didn't think they were going to get a car in there. Ooh, that's given us a predicament. That's actually very, very well played. Um, hmm, okay. We've still got the car. We've still got the closest vehicle to it. We've still got the closest vehicle to it. I think what we need to do is the car that just hit, either we fire into the back of that or we put a car to the right-hand side. Either way works. Either way will work. We just can't afford to overshoot it. Yeah, that overshoot has cost us a little bit. Not a massive amount, but it has cost us a little bit. Um, probably not as much as Pink's initial overshoot, but there we go. Okay. This is it. Can we take... And it is more difficult being the first team to go as well, because uh, you, the other team do have a slight advantage. If we could take a, a victory here, I'd be very, very happy. A little bit of a surprise victory, perhaps. What tactic is he going to go for? Uh, he's going to go try, he's try to go sweep in from the side. Oh, dear. That's not gone well. Bugger. Damn it. That's, again, exactly the, exactly the same mistake. I say the same mistake. It's just the too much speed, not slowed it down enough as they come into the approach. Well, hmm. If pink team hit something with too much speed, we could be in. We could be doing well. I think they're just going to fill the gap that they left last time. They've just they've left a lovely little hole that I think they can fill. They might try and nudge our car clear, which wouldn't be the worst tactic if they can get it right. Uh, but they've got to be careful not to push the Assetta too far forward. I think they're just going to kind of roll it in, and they are going to be parked. Now, while we have got... I'm just going to jump into drone mode quickly just to have a, uh, have a look... Yeah, Pink have got the car closest to it. They're, they're pretty much touching it. And they've got the two... They've got three cars and we've only got one, essentially, in the proximity. Pink are going to win the first round. We had a good start. It went downhill. It went downhill a little bit. I, I thought we were... If, if if we hadn't sort of spun over here, if we'd got that tucked in behind, they couldn't have punted this this guy clear. But uh, that, that's, that, that's ice. There's, there's, there's a pink car over here. It's a long way away. But uh, <laughs> that's curling for you. Okay. Victory to a pink team. Close game. Close game. And I am thoroughly enjoying curling once more. So it is on to the second game. Pink team are to uh, go first. Hopefully we can have a little bit more luck. Hopefully we can have less overshoots from our orange team cars. Pink are going to go for a long run-up. Honestly, I'm not actually sure the uh, the run-up. Oh, God, the ducks are attacking. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, we can do well. The long run-up, these Titans struggle so much to, to push the cars. I don't actually know if it makes a huge difference, in all honesty. We're just going to kind of see what their what their plan is. They've released the uh, released the Abarth. Are they just going to go for a park in behind? Ooh, okay. They're going for a scoot-around positioning. Not quite perfect, though. Not quite perfect. Ideally, you'd have the uh, a bath completely uh, kind of horizontal across the front of the aesthetic because it makes it a lot harder to punt it clear. Whereas we can just hit the front or the back of that a bath and we'll push it well clear, theoretically at least, of the uh, of the aesthetic. And I mean, at the end of the day, if we take it out, you know, if every time they park a car there, we take it out, we will eventually be victorious. In theory, at least, that is how it will uh, how it will go. Um, however, we saw last time how, how theories go. All it takes is a little bit of skidding on the ice and things go downhill very fast. Okay. First of the orange cars. Let's see what we can uh, what we can achieve here. Uh, again, it's going to be about the 40 mile an hour. Oop. There's a little bit of... Well, I've released it a bit early, but bugger it. It, 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 it will do. I think he might have steered himself slightly, uh, slightly further than I was expecting him. Is he going to go... Good move. Perfect move, actually. And he has... Uh, he's pointed him a bit clear. He has got him to a... Yeah, he's, he's kind of out... I say out of contention. It's not. What they might do... 
what they might... I, I could have done with having more speed in that one. That's my bad for slightly... I did a terrible job of my one simple job, but I managed to mess that one up. Uh, what they're probably going to do, what I would do, is hit the back of the Assetta. Because if you hit the Assetta forwards, you get your... I, I, they can't hear me, so there's no point... Uh, I say there's no point worrying about me saying tactics. That's what I would go for. Hit the back of the Assetta, fire it forwards. You get one car behind it and one car ahead of it. It makes it a lot more difficult for us to have to try and worry about. Because if they try and aim for our car, they might inadvertently put it into uh, a better position. Yeah. Oh, actually... Ah, well, that's an interesting one. So, the... Okay. Okay. What do we do? I think what we do is if we actually go take the other purple, the, 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 the pink car on the left hand side, if we can take that out of the game and we can scoot one of our cars in front of the Assetta, surround it, kind of get like a an arrowhead at the front of the Assetta, then that would probably do the trick. It's going to be quite difficult to do too much here with the, uh, with the blizzard. Um, yeah, I think we might weigh out the blizzard. Downside to the game, or this game, and Blizzard Mountain. I think that might be the other Titan. Maybe. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk a turn and end up firing my car completely in the wrong direction, so we're going to sit and wait. Well, the snow is finally clearing. There is a, a nice light dusting on uh, all of our vehicles. Hopefully, Orange Team is now ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. I think we've got. I think they're on. They're on target. Let's try and not cock up the push quite as much. We've got a uh, decent amount of speed going on. Let's go and punt that uh, a bath clear. That's. Oh, okay. We've not quite. Not quite what we wanted. Uh, we've got a good. We've got a good blocking formation going on. However, not good enough. We're too far back. We needed to be a little bit closer. Yeah, because if we managed to bring it to a, to a stop there, what we actually we needed to be right on the boot of the Assetto, and we're not. They can purple, pink can sneak a car in that gap, which isn't great for me. We will we will see what uh, what they do though. Of course, anything can happen in this. As the pink Abarth makes an appearance, I managed to stall it. Oh, pink Abarth did more good for us than we did for us there. Uh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, the Pinker Bath <laughs> has made a slight... They, they could have really punished us there. They really could have punished us in that one. Uh, what we need to do... Oh, what side do we want? I don't even know what side we want to hit from on this. I guess if we hit our orange car that's directly behind... Mm, it's not going to transfer the momentum through enough. What I'd want to do is hit the orange car into the Assetta and kind of have the whole lot steam train forward to try and get out of that mess. I think our best bet is just going to go park in front of the Assetta. Maybe if we kind of sweep round from the side and park in front of it. It's very difficult to do that, though, on this ice. You've got to get your speed perfect. Too fast, you're going to spin wildly out of control and go soaring through shot too slow, and you're just going to crawl and not be able to make it. This is a difficult one. This is a real difficult one, actually, to know... Where, where we want the cars to, uh, where we want the cars to be going? Right, there's a gear in there somewhere. Let's go and give our a bath a push. Hopefully, come on, we can't, we can't be embarrassed. We can't be embarrassed in this game. We need to, we need to get a, a victory here. Right, we go for some speed. Give him options. If he's going to go for, he's going to go for the push. Okay, I like the idea. Can we get the transfer of momentum through? Oh, he clipped the a bar. He clipped the pink team's car. Damn it. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. We got what we wanted in terms of a pinball effect. It's actually now going to be quite difficult for pink because they have got to try and... I mean, I think what they're going to do is just scoot around in front of it. And then we're going to have to use our car to take out whatever gets in front of it. And I think we will possibly end up closer... Yeah, I think if we if we hadn't clipped the or if they hadn't clipped the pinker bath and chunted it forward with the little train, I think that was a great plan. Uh, I'm actually surprised we managed to move it as far as we did with the kind of Horizon Three physics. But there we go. They're gonna they're doing exactly what I was expecting them to do. They're not going to go skidding off into the distance. They've slowed it down. Oh, pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty pretty damn spot on. 
pretty damn spot on. Now, what our car can do is, you see, they're not quite perfect, though. Interesting. They're not quite perfect, because what you'd want to do is have it a little bit further across, because we can't go from the left. We can only hit from the right, pretty much. There's so many cars there. So, there is the, 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 the arse is hanging out slightly. That is what we have got to hit. We know the target it is fairly small down there with our final car. If he can hit that, if he can spin it clear, it's not going to move it far. It's not going to move it far at all, but it can work. Here we go, Orange team. I have to say, both of these games have been really close. Uh, you know, if we lose this, if we don't quite get this, um, it has been a very, very close game. And the whole going going last being an advantage, while it is true to an extent, it hasn't, it hasn't been as big an advantage as perhaps you might expect it to be. Here we go. And release. Let's see what they can do. If we get this clip correct, it's going to be... Oh, absolutely spot on. That is what we wanted to see. That is exactly what we wanted to see. We're going to hit up the uh, draw mode just to have a closer inspection. Yeah, look at that. We have got victory for Orange Team as the uh, celebratory fail race symphony begins. Lovely, lovely final stone there. Oh, this is tense. This is the bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> then this is why we don't normally have horns on. Um, I, I, I am I'm liking this game of curling. Well done, chaps. We will go to a third and final round. So, it is the decider. We have drawn the short straw and are going to be going first with our orange team. Fingers crossed. We can, uh, oh, we can stall off the line. Brilliant start. Brilliant start. Also, one of our cars is phased out of existence. Also, brilliant start. Okay, they're phased back again. We're good. Right, let's not cock up the, uh, push, push down the, uh, down the lake. That's always a bonus. We're kind of just going to dump you there, see what we can, uh, See what we can do. Oh, they've slowed down quite a lot already. Are we going for a sneaky park around the front? No, we're going for a park directly in the side. Okay. I was expecting, the way they slowed down, I was expecting that to go around the front and hold directly ahead of the uh, the Assetta. But no, we're going to go... The angle that we've kind of pushed the Assetta back to is, is a slightly different starting angle for the, uh, for the Assetta. It's um, a little bit more difficult to deal with. Because, yeah, it's on the wonk, although I do think it's going to mean that we're going to kind of end up firing it slightly clearer. It's going to be difficult to get our car out of the way, but that's not the problem, because they're just going to move the BMW before they move our car, I think. I mean, as I said, I would imagine that would be the tactic they're going to go for. Uh, looks like it... Ooh! They got it quite far. They're going to, Yeah, they're going to kind of roll their way forwards. Hmm. Okay. Now, that does make things quite awkward. Because they've they fired it, and they probably didn't want to fire it so close to the bank, because now we've got very limited amount of room. I think we want to focus on getting rid of the purple, or the pink car. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really know how to deal with the sides, because you can effectively get cars kind of up there that are untouchable in some ways, because they'll be squished up against the side and no one's going to be able to go round them, so they'd have to hit them from the back, and if you put the asset, if you get the asset directly ahead of the cars there, um, it would be quite difficult to deal with. We're, the way that we've lined these up, we're, we're at a little bit of a, a disadvantage here, we want to get across here. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know where we're going with our a, a bath. Uh, okay, he, he wants to go down that way, so you can, you can do that. Uh, we, we almost lost control. I think he's going to try and fit in that gap there nicely. That's what we want to be seeing. Excellent play. However, uh, ooh, I'm trying to get myself clear of that one. Ooh, almost interfered with play. I wasn't expecting him to come back so far. Um, okay. Okay. Not terrible. I didn't interfere with play, so it wasn't a foul. Hmm. I think... They're just going to fire... They're going to hit the back of the Assetta and just take it forwards. Or they might just fire our car forwards and park in next to it. Either one works. And because if they fire our car forward and park next to it, we can take it in turns playing that game all day. However... Ooh, are they going to clear our car there? Yes, they are. And they're going to just pop into it. Ooh. Not very well. Not very well at all, in fact. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a spin around and have a look. Let's not go in the way of the pink titan. Uh, let's, not get in, let's not interfere with play. They would not have wanted that one. I mean, yeah. I don't know how we're going to deal with that pink car. However... Hmm. Okay. I think what we've got to try and do... Uh, we want to push the Isetta forwards, really. But getting the Isetta out of that kerfuffle, because what we can, uh, as I say, what we can potentially do is is push the Isetta forwards and block up that left hand side. But then that is just going to mean that they're going to attack it from the right with their final car, which might be a little bit too much for us to deal with. Okay, oh, the blizzard has just started, so we might have to take a blizzard break after this. We are committed, and we can see... We're, no, we're close enough now to see lights, so it's all good. I think we are going to... Yeah, he's going to try and punt the Assetta clear by going up the banking. And, oh, well, I mean, we've got two cars around it. The difficulty Pink are going to have is they've got to shift one of our cars now. They've got to shift our cars, or they've got to hit the back... Ooh, they've got to hit the back of their car to hit the Assetta forwards. We're going to have another blizzard break, though, because visibility is abysmal right now. When play resumes, Pink have got a bit of a, um, a conundrum as to how they're going to deal with this one. I'm curious to see what pans out. Right, the blizzard has come to an end. Things are actually a little bit better for us than I thought. I thought the uh, Pinker Bath was still kind of parked in the back of the Assetta. It isn't, and it's going to be really difficult to hit that Bath and put the Assetta forwards that much. So... We are actually in a very, very good shape. Having said that, you know, we, we've seen how one good shot can change these games. And, uh, yeah, Pink need that one good shot to happen now. I need a miss here. It doesn't look like it's going to be a miss. They are going straight for the back. Ooh, straight clear. Okay. A good, yeah, it, was a good, it was a good clearing shot. It was a very good clearing shot, actually. Got rid of that car. We are still closer. What do we, what do we have to do here? I mean, ideally, it would be very tough to do if you could sweep in from the right-hand side and sort of nestle your car in that gap. Sort of in there is very, very tough to do, but if you could do it, that would make it really difficult. Make it really difficult indeed. You could try and punt... The problem is if we try and punt the pink cars clear, as I said, we just end up in this game tit for tat that we will lose. So we've got to be a little bit cleverer than that. We've got to position our cars a little bit better to the point whereby they can't clear us. You could also go from the left-hand side, try and go around the bank and get yourself ahead. We can't really go to the right because the pink team have got that defended. It would be very, very difficult. Or to sweep round from the right to go to the front uh, would be really difficult to, uh, to get done. I'm not sure where our car is uh, planning on going, but uh, there we go. They're, they're going, obviously, quite a, uh, quite a lot to the, uh, the left-hand side. Uh, are they going to try and fit in that... Gap. Okay. There is a little... Ooh. I mean, that's where we wanted them to go. That is where we wanted to go. There was a, a little bit of lag that has punted one of our cars miles clear. Um, so they're, they're off the board, essentially. <laughs> that is where we wanted it to, wanted it to go. Um, well, I mean, it's all down to this final shot. I'm going to put my car well out of the way. I'm going to jump into a drone mode quickly. Yeah, that is, that is spot on. I wasn't thinking we'd be able to move that car as far as we did. Uh, I, I think it may have been ever so slightly lag-assisted, unfortunately, in that one. It's the nature of the game, unfortunately. Uh, however, yeah, because I mean, if they come in, what they're going to have to do is... Oh, they've got to try and sort of squeeze in this gap and push our car forwards, but if they do it too hard, they're going to end up in trouble. If they don't do it hard enough, we're still going to win. Or are they just going to try and punt their car at the back straight into the mix? We're going to see what happens. And they have punted our car miles. In fact, our car's going to drive into my Titan over there. Um, well, unfortunately, I was ho kind of hoping their vehicle was going to skate a little bit further forward than that. We couldn't quite block ourselves well enough in a while. I mean, we do have the closest car to uh, to this one. So, unfortunately, though, we only have one car even vaguely within the vicinity of the <laughs> of the bubble car. Um, I think I'm going to have to give it to Pink Team for simply having actual cars vaguely within the within the the area. They would have scored more points than me. The but we did get the car closest. Uh, to it, which is something. 
However, yeah, Pink Team did a, uh, a bit better job of, of keeping cars around it. Unfortunately, yeah, the, well, one of ours has gone to a different postcode over there. That, though, is uh, going to be it for this uh, this game of curling. It's massive amounts of fun. I, I want this to be an official game mode in Horizon 3. Playground Games, if you're, if you're listening, could we, could we have a curling game mode? It's, it's really rather brilliant fun. Um, and, and a slight sort of scoring uh, mechanism that's a little bit better than just, you know, drone mode guesswork. <laughs> However, yeah, it's a fantastically tactical and uh, interesting game to uh, to be playing with cars. That, though, is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>